finally made it after just a mere like 19 hours of travel. Just happened to take the same bus as the Slovenians from the airport. So excited to be back here in Seoul and competing at a World Cup. Got a couple days here to explore around, check out some coffee shops. The coffee culture here is crazy, crazy addicted, I think. <laughs> no, there's, there's actually just coffee shops everywhere you look. Gonna take it pretty mellow tonight and then hit the gym tomorrow. Other than that, just gonna show you guys everything I explore around here in Seoul. Check out this Ferrari. We're doing a little nighttime walking around so I don't fall asleep immediately with Salt Lake City wow. homies again. Feel free to just skip ahead to actual climbing content, but in search of some good dinner. Shout out to LBR for helping make this trip possible. If you guys are in LA, definitely check them out. There are literally so many coffee places and pastry places. Everywhere you go, they just have workout equipment like on the side of the street and in these really cool, very nicely kept parks. And there's actually a lot of hills too. Kind of reminds me of being in San Francisco. All right, good morning. We're just gonna do all of the vlogging from this trip in the middle of the intersections because it looks cool. There's just so many buildings in every single direction, just buildings. Anyways, about to hop on a scooter and ride 20 minutes over to this really cool gym and session with Danny Sayo who's a super close homie from back in the Bay Area actually and he lives in Salt Lake right now but is Korean so he's here in Seoul. We'll see you at the gym if I don't crash on the scooter. If you guys want to see the full warm up, just go click on one of those videos. Got to break out the new Makita. Took up like half of my bag coming here, but it's pretty essential now for World Cups. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah. Sick. Game changer. Okay, forget everything I just said. This is Danny's and it's one eighth the size and equally as powerful, but it doesn't have a stand, so. Oh, okay, yeah, that's just better in every way. Jumping here and jumping here. Alright, 
we're getting pretty theoretical here. Gonna do a couple more variations of this crazy traverse and then maybe one or two more over there and then hit a good coffee shop. I hit one this morning, but it, it just wasn't worth including, to be honest. Side note, I almost killed so many people on the scooter. There's like a bike lane, but it's hectic. It honestly was a great warm up. Like, it got me super connected, just choo -choo 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 -choo, swerving through the streets. With the camera too, the camera's like swinging and like throwing me off balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More, more straight up above this one. Like forget the volume's even there, and then you just lean, because you need to be to the left of this thing. Position, positions. Yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> it's actually huge. Like, yeah. that's like, look at that's that. like eight feet. Yeah. Okay, it'd be sick though if you could go just from here and land on that bag. <laughs> oh, no hands. Yeah. Okay. Well, no hands. Stop. Just like just this part. You get. Yeah. All right. All right. on this is super tricky you got to hit blue with your body really far to the left and slanted so you can swing through and generate because this green hold is pretty far away roughly roughly like half the wall found this crazy good coffee shop that he's come to two days in a row that apparently is his number one coffee shop he's ever had in the whole world so I got high expectations now John said it was his number three spot pretty psyched today's Friday competitions on Saturday so last night hit a little stretch sesh with the whole team and they seshed around in another gym and then took the subway home which was cool now just vibing around and then we'll watch the finals tonight but for now we do coffee Six different choices for what beans we want for the espresso. They look very good. Oh wow. Yeah. That's actually insane. Definitely top three ever for me. Yeah. I think. Yeah, definitely. There's just no like acidity or like bitterness at all. It's just actual flavors. All right, just finished up at the coffee shop and now took a bus to this Buddhist restaurant, this Michelin star vegetarian Buddhist restaurant that Brooke and Kyra and Jesse and Chloe are all eating at. Just gotta find them and test out some good food. And then we'll go watch speed finals later on. I was chatting to the barista at the coffee shop and he's 
the world, or he's the Korean barista champion for 2023, which is crazy. Korea has so much coffee and he's just the best barista in the whole country. So no wonder why it was so good. They had a super nice roasting machine from San Francisco actually. And then like automatic tamper and special equipment for everything and he was telling me all about the settings and everything so i gotta get one of those roasters when i get home he said it was only 180k um and like another 10 for the grinder and then another 10 for the machine so it seems pretty affordable review of lunch it was phenomenal so many different little things it doesn't have a mission star right now but it had one in 2017 and 18 and it was all vegan actually shout out to the buddhist temple <laughs> This place just is, it's a coffee shop with no people, just dancing robots. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't dignify that with a purchase. Chinese. All right, update, pretty sick qualifying round. A real good warm up. So we made it to semifinals, which is pretty, pretty sick. Yo. Wow. Yeah. I think the point five will get the. All right, we uh, just got some bibimbap at this really cool spot by the hotel. Now we're about to go watch semifinals which is actually just finals because qualification yesterday was canceled for rain. I'll do a full debrief of the boulders later on when it's a little less a little bit less chaotic. But it was a it was a rough run for me. It was a battle to make the right decisions, more so than it ever has been kind of in the past. So I was left a little bit frustrated after the round. Um, but a lot of good takeaways and ultimately was making the right decisions, but it just took way too long to figure out the right sequences, and I felt like I was constantly second guessing myself, which is really not something I usually do. So, like I said, good round to, uh, to learn from, and otherwise just super excited to be here in Korea. This place is so, so cool. So, I'm gonna explore around a bit more, and then watch semifinals, and I'll show you guys as much of that as I can.
Danny, why did we not bring shoes? What? Oh, that was, we messed up, we messed up. We were just gonna go to the top of this peak. You can see it there. At least I was psyched to go to the top of that thing. It's like a five hour hike. It's my last day, so I decided I was psyched to go explore this national park that's super close. Like we just took the subway, then hopped on a bus for a little bit. And then we've just been following some boulders up here. I knew there was climbing up here, but not like this good. The rock is actually super, super nice. We messed up and didn't bring shoes basically. Might have to go try some, some campus blocks. But at the very least, we'll get a nice little reflection in from the World Cup and get a little ice water dip. The river is so beautiful. It's just running straight down the middle of this huge canyon. And then take a bus and the subway back to Danny's house and then a bus from there to the airport. And then my flights tonight fly from there to Hawaii for like 30 hours and then back to San Diego. It's gonna be a long day. Why did we not bring shoes? Oh. Took a little dip in the river. It's actually properly cold. Not quite as cold as a little, little cottonwood back in Salt Lake, but pretty dang cold. This audio is probably gonna be a little bit hard because the river, but just wanted to take a second to reflect on the comp and I'll probably post some version of what I'm about to say on, on Instagram or whatever in a more thought through form. But this comp was really, difficult in the sense that it was the first time in a long time, like several years I would say, that a round of boulders like beat me mentally. And I guess it wasn't really the round of boulder that was beating me, it was more myself and I wrote that down in, in my reflections is I, I felt like I was battling myself to get rid of these distracting thoughts and just be present in the moment, which is something I'm usually really good at. And in that sense, I, I didn't stay true to my training, which was really frustrating because this is a lesson I've definitely learned before and it was frustrating to walk away from the round knowing that physically I could do all the boulders and physically I feel like in the best shape of my life right now, to be honest. I think the, the most immediate takeaway was that I went into the comp with too many expectations and a little bit of entitlement towards thinking my ability was good enough to complete the boulders, which it was and still is, but it's never a healthy mindset to have going into a round, taking for granted boulders that are, are really hard. Going into the round, I kind of was too cavalier about the fact that I had the skills to do the boulders. And like what I mean by that is like physically and mentally, like in training these boulders, if they were just at the class five facility or at the training center, they wouldn't be super, super hard to do, you know? It'd be within a five minute round, pretty reasonable, I feel like. But you put it in the context of the first World Cup of the season for me and one of potentially only two World Cups, so then it counts even more towards getting points, towards qualifying for the World Championships or Pan American Games or Olympics or whatever that is, like my mind had kind of spiraled through all of these scenarios where I'm like, I need to do well at this comp and I'm paying out of pocket to fly all the way to Korea for five boulders. So then all of a sudden, like on the first boulder, when my foot slips on the first attempt, then there's like this chain reaction of like, what if I'm not good enough? What if I don't do well enough at this comp and blah, 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 blah. So, so I, I found myself having to work really hard to shut out those negative thoughts and stay focused on what I was trying to do. And after the first boulder, it was this really hard slab that I only, I think only like two people did. I got pretty close, could have slowed down this one move a tiny bit more and, and maybe done it, but for the most part, I climbed pretty well in it. So I let that go, was focused, ready for the next one. 
It's like in Boulder, found it really hard to commit to the beta I knew was right. That was annoying to go back and look and see like, wow, like I had the beta right the first try and then I fiddled around with a bunch of other stuff and then finally came back to it and got zone and then fell going to the finish, uh, which was also a really hard move. But still, just little tactical errors on that one. And then let that boulder go, like five minutes of just breathing, smiling, staying psyched, and getting ready for the third one. Third boulder, I uh, flashed to the last move and then kind of hesitated for a second too long and started to slide off this really slopey hole, but then figured out, kind of ran through some scenarios in my head and got the beta dialed in my head, visualized it. And then on second go and, and third go, I also found it really hard to commit to the beta. I knew it was right in my head and I had like visualized, okay, I'm gonna campus off this thing and go to the finish, uh, which was the correct beta. But I kept getting there and kind of second guessing myself, which is really unusual for me. So clearly it's just another reminder of how important it is, no matter how strong you are, that the mental aspect of, of climbing, especially in competitions, is super, super heavy and something that takes a lot of practice and a lot of refreshers. Like, these are all lessons I've learned before and written down and practiced, and I needed to have a bit more devoted time before this comp to practicing those exact habits. So that's something I'll definitely do before Salt Lake, which is coming up in like two weeks now. I'm excited for the next couple weeks of training ahead of Salt Lake and a fun trip back through Hawaii. Maybe I'll make a little video about that one. But otherwise, it's been an amazing time here in Korea. Hope you guys enjoyed. Other than that, Danny and I are gonna hike back and then rip off to the airport.